So, as I was saying in my M1 Pro 16-inch MacBook Pro review, the need to back up the data comes as a part of the deal when you buy this laptop, thanks to the soldered SSD storage. For that purpose, I used SyncThing, which is a very good tool and I still use it to sync photos and music between my laptop and my phone. But it has a steep learning curve, so this option is more on the prosumer side. Also, you need at least two devices to sync between. For example, PC and a laptop, how it was in my case. But when you move a lot with nothing but backpack on your back, owning a PC is not an option anymore. So it was time for me to try backing up my data the Apple way using macOS built-in tool called Time Machine with the help of Samsung T7 Shield external SSD. And sadly, it is far from perfect. It is much more friction than I anticipated. C7 Shield itself is nicely made, nice to hold in hand, looks good, provides some degree of drop, water and dust resistance. It should be fast, and it probably is, but at this point I don't really care, as long as it's reliable and doesn't take the whole night to back up, it is good enough for me. But is it reliable? It has a USB-C connection, which people praise, but I personally didn't have that great of experience with it. For me, it doesn't provide a connection I trust. It strongly depends on the device, cables are often a piece of crap and break fast, wobbling more than they should and just do not feel that sturdy in general. Anyway, how I imagined the whole process to be. I have my backup on the SSD. If I go somewhere with the laptop, I just disconnect the cable, go about my business, and when I get back home, I take the laptop out of my backpack, put it on the table, connect the drive, and call it a day. Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. How it really is. First, I can't just disconnect the cable. I need to eject the drive first. Of course, I can pull it out without ejecting since macOS should allegedly take care of it itself, but it takes away from that don't take any chances messing with your data thing. Introducing one more variable, let's say so, which can get wrong values, making the whole process, well, less reliable. Connecting the drive back is also far from expected. Firstly, macOS will ask me for a password, which is another point of friction. And of course, again, I can just save it to keychain but now it takes away from the security of your backup. And considering how often I cloud of some random celebrity gets hacked, well, Keychain is one of the worst places to store your passwords. And the final point of friction is the fact that sometimes just nothing happens when I connect the drive. LED just blinking and blinking and blinking and blinking and blinking. There were a couple of times when I connected the drive and believed it was backing up my data. But then I saw in that menu that the last time backup was actually made was two days ago. At this point, I don't know if it's software problem or if that shitty USB-C connection issues. Anyway, the whole process looks like this. I unlock my laptop, eject the drive, wait for it to disappear from locations menu, then disconnect the cable. When I get back, I unlock the laptop, connect the drive, enter password, go to the time machine menu explicitly and wait for it 
to start back up. Now you know. If you can't sit in one spot, doing all that pretty often can be annoying. And I personally sometimes just forget to connect the drive in the evening, which is another thing to consider. Well, until I figure out the better, less friction way to back up my data on the go, I will stick to the time machine. It is a good thing to know that if something will happen to my computer, I will be able to restart the carbon copy of its state and not waste any more time. Thank you for watching.